Hello friends, Daniel here from StockMusicLicensing.com bringing you the best tips and strategies for selling your music on royalty-free libraries. Now, I'm doing this video and this is probably the first video I do so early in the morning. It's, it's around 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm going for my early run and I just wanted to do a very quick video vlog here. Uh, it's still dark, obviously. <laughs> But I said, you know what, it's a perfect uh, time to talk about these things. And I want to talk to you about three different reasons of why you're not selling your music on royalty-free libraries. Now, some of you might be in the beginning stages. Some of you might be uh, already in music libraries like Pond5 and, and you're not seeing the results that you want to see. And some of you are completely uh, in, involved in music licensing, have some sales but just don't know how to keep it going. And most importantly of all is to grow it, which is the hardest part. In the beginning, you might feel like, hey, I got one sale. Yeah, but how about doing that on a regular basis? And, and I wanna tell you here three major reasons why this is happening. Reason number one, you're overthinking it too much. This is true for the beginner as well as the experienced composer, and I have been through this myself so you're overthinking too much about the music that you want to compose you're overthinking too much about the production about the mixing you're usually putting way too many instruments in your session too many layers conflicting melodies that don't support the main idea so that's number one the production can be uh, you, you you're becoming to think that it has to be something complicated and it's not just because you are <laughs> you are already experienced or you in the beginning stages you're a beginner but that doesn't mean that it has to be complicated it's the opposite number two you think that by uploading only once once <laughs> once a month or so you think that that's going to keep the momentum going uh, music licensing and specifically for for libraries like pawn 5 and audio jungle and stock libraries in general it's a numbers game okay you need quantity and you need quality, but you can't get to the quality unless you have the quantity. I'll repeat that. You can't get to the quality until you have the quantity. And number three, be willing to write in different genres. Now, you might be good uh, writing hip hop music. You might be good uh, at cinematic music, but you need to expand your, your catalog, your portfolio. And there you go. I said again, portfolio. Um, you need to expand on that. It's not just good enough, even though I say that you need to focus on your strength, you need to really expand that. And you really need to really get out of that idea that you're only gonna compose hip hop. The more tracks you have uh, in your catalog, in, in, a, in a very diverse way, meaning that you have ambient music, you have hip hop, you have cinematic, you have uh, Christmas music. This is something that we were talking uh, in the SML uh, Mastermind uh, latest uh, live Zoom call, we're talking about seasonal music, and it's so important to have uh, Halloween music, Christmas music, uh, you know, you just just name it. Anything that is seasonal is very important to have. So you, you need to, to really acknowledge that this type of music are, are needed, this type of, this type of uh, tracks are needed. So when you, when you get out of your your way of thinking, then you can probably start seeing that actually it's more simple than what you think it is. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be either something that you do once a month. You need to do it on a regular basis. And, and again, it depends on how busy your life is. We're all very busy. And it's one of the reasons why I've been waking up at five in the morning to do these exercises of mine for the last few months now. Uh, because I can't find the time to do it throughout my day. Uh, but you need the quality, but you can only get there with the quantity. So you need to do a lot, all right? And it's like working out. You need to work out a lot to see some, some results. The universe doesn't go and say, like, oh, Daniel's been waking up for, uh, for, for two months, <laughs> you know? For the last uh, two months at five o'clock in the morning, to give him a new body or a new, you know, it doesn't happen like that. You need to put a lot of effort into it. So that is true with music as well. And number three, you need to be able to get out of your comfort zone and learn new genres. Be really willing to, to learn, 
Focus on your strength, but learn, always be learning. The biggest mistake musicians and composers do is that they have this idea that they know it all. You always need to improve. You will never arrive. So if you keep that mindset that you will never arrive and that you are always learning, then you can get to a place of building even more momentum. And if you have plateau somewhere, then you can get to the next level. And then when you get to that level, then go to the next one. And, and it's a never ending cycle. It's up to you to decide how far into this you wanna go. I hope this is a helpful video to you here on a dark early morning from Nashville, Greece. I hope this is helpful to you. Leave in the comment section, what's the biggest struggle from this uh, three uh, things that I have just shared here with you? Are you writing music that is overcomplicated? meaning that you're using way too many instruments, too many layers, conflicting melodies, or you don't have enough quantity of tracks that you're writing, that you're producing on a regular basis, or you just don't write any seasonal music, like Christmas music. For example, I'd never wrote uh, Christmas music for the, for the longest time. I think it was, I was into my second or third year when I actually <laughs> got my head around it and said, I better write some Christmas music. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new to music licensing or to royalty free libraries, download my free guide, link in the description. I love you all very much, and as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success.